This is Uncle Stu, the old man on the block. And today I'm bringing what I call a very disturbing news dealing with Aretha Franklin and her song or the song she sung, Natural Woman. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to preference this by summarizing two news articles dealing with Aretha Franklin and the fact that they want Aretha Franklin's song banned. And I'm going to tell you, I originally wasn't even going to do a video or post on this until I really did some research. And, you know, I'm going to tell you when I seen this post show up on another popular uh, YouTuber's blog, I was shocked. I, I was stunned. I was amazed. I almost didn't want to believe that this was an actual real post. And I didn't want to believe that this was actual and factual information. So first, let me give a shout out to the plain Jane. Uh, I loves me some black news. And so we're going to get into this news article. We're going to get into this story. And, and then I'm going to come back with my commentary and a little bit of history. And then I want to hear from you. So let's get into this news article. Aretha Franklin's beloved song, A Natural Woman, is under attack. The iconic anthem, which has been celebrated for decades for its uplifting message of self-acceptance and empowerment, is now facing criticism from the alphabet community who have deemed it offensive. It is a heart-wrenching realization that a song which has brought so much joy and inspiration to countless of individuals could be viewed in such a a negative light. The Norway based uh, T Cultural Mindful Alliance is leading the charge to have the song removed from streaming platforms such as Spotify and Apple Music. In a statement, the group has asserted that Aretha Franklin's 1968 song, Natural Woman, perpetuates a multiple harmful of the anti T stereotype. The TCMA claims that there is no such thing as a natural woman and that the song has already helped inspired acts of harm against T women. This is not only an attack on a timeless classic, but also on countless of individuals, particularly women, who have found solace and strength in the song's message. It is a painful reminder that even the most well-intentioned message can be twisted and misinterpreted. Many have taken to social media to express their disappointment and frustration with TCMA's request to remove the song from streaming platforms. Some have even questioned the legitimacy of the organization and while the account is satirical in nature, regardless of the group intentions the fact remains that the request to remove the song is causing immersed pain and hurt to those who have found solace in its message the TCMA has also made other controversial requests such as calling for a ban on including gender on birth certificates in Norway and the international police force to prosecute bigotry. These requests only add to the already emotional and sensitivity nature of the situation. When we really understand the history of this song, the reality of this song, and just to sum up the song, A Natural Woman was originally written by a woman by the name of Carol King, a white woman, and recorded by Aretha Franklin. The lyrics describes a woman who feels uninspired and tired before she meets a man who makes her feel like a natural woman. The song expresses the idea that this man has brought her peace of mind and has helped her discover her true self. The lyrics also express the idea that this man makes her feel alive and happy 
and that being close to him is essential to her happiness. This song is overall OD to the transformative power of love and how it can bring out the best in a person and make them feel like their true selves. It is a song that many women speak of when they speak of love. A man that can just come into the life and bring out life and peace and happiness, taking all the burdens of that's on their shoulders off their shoulders. Shoulders. In, in, in these spaces, we talk about women being in their femininity. And the reason why many women can't be in their femininity is because they don't have the masculine energy to come in and take that, that, that weight, that burden off. You know, there is so much that I can speak on that it saddens my heart that for the years, women just wanted to be known. They just wanted the burdens of life lifted off their shoulders and someone could just come in and say to you you're not a woman I, I, I speak right now not as a, a man just protecting the women that may be hearing my voice or the man that yes I, I love my brothers and I advocate for men to be the best version of themselves but I am a father of daughters I'm the oldest brother of a sister I have a mother, I have grandmothers. May my grandmothers and great-grandmothers rest in peace. I got nieces and cousins and aunts. And to have someone say that they're not natural women, that, that they don't deserve love, that they don't deserve a man to come in and love them as they desire to be loved is heart-wrenching. It's disgusting, at least to me. I, there's no way in the world in, in, in 68 someone is going to sit up there and say that this song is offensive when it was written in the time and in the culture that it was written in. So many Many other artists has also sung this song, but I, I want to just go down the list. Natural Woman sung in 1968 by Aretha Franklin. Dion Ceylon uh, sang this song in 1996. Kelly Clarkson wrote sung the song in 2002. And then we have Mariah Carey. Jennifer Hudson sung it in 2021. Mary J. Blige sung it in 1994. And James Ingram, <laughs> of all things, sung The Natural Man in 1989. <sighs> I just uh, want to say this in this in this short commentary. Ladies, I, I fully understand feminism. I understand what will be known as white feminism. I understand what's known as black feminism. I've read the Bell Hooks books. I've read and studied Patricia Collins. I've read many black feminist authors growing up in the 80s and early 90s. I understand white patriarchy. I understand intersectionality. My pain is that in the political world, the governance world, that everything that you have allegedly fought for, voting rights and, and, and trying to get your voice heard and wanting men to understand some of the things you go through as a woman, that someone now can come in and strip all of your fight away and say, you're not a, a, a woman. You're not a, a natural woman. I, I, I'm not trying to cause a hate speech. I, I'm confused. Maybe I'm old. I'm, I don't understand a lot of things. But to attack Aretha Franklin, a black woman who has brought love, honor, grace, femininity, who has had to suffer so that many black women can be free, who's had to suffer so that even black men would be free. A woman who, whose life story is one of pain and tragedy, but of triumph. And I just, if black women say that a black man doesn't protect black women, then damn it, here I am. Through this post, I'm hoping that women hear me and understand that if you really believe 
There are men that won't protect you. I hope this post proves the latter. That I am trying to at least get the information out. And if there's things that I need to understand as a man, as a heterosexual man, a a married man, a father, a grandfather, then leave me a comment and say, this is what you don't understand, Uncle Stu. This is what you don't understand about the attack of Aretha Franklin. And and, and maybe you can help me with it. I'm open. But what I'm asking those at the sound of my voice is write a comment. If you want me at this moment in time to do a live, then write that in the comment, Uncle Stu, can we do a live? It struggled for me to be able to get up here and speak on this subject. But my oldest daughter has, in the background, has really been upset behind a lot of things that's going on between her being a woman and hearing other people say she's not a woman. So I just wanted to bring this information to you. Uh, The two news articles that I referenced will be in the description below. Hit that like, leave me a comment. And if you want me to deal with more issues such as this, definitely subscribe to this channel. Um, I really, I have a lot to say, but I want to hear from you before I speak further on such a subject like this. Let's hope that they do not succeed in taking down the queen, Aretha Franklin. This is Uncle Stu, the old man on the block, and I'm out. Peace.